Evening. Dusk. Whatever the phrase, a guy like me only knows it as one thing. The time of day when all the crazies, felons, murderers, the thieves, and little old gangster grannies slink out of their holes for playtime. And for a guy like me, that means going in deep and keeping the excitement to a minimum. A four at the highest on the excitement meter. Rumours around the plaza circulated that one of the knights in the area went crook, off his nutter, looking to cause ruckus in any manner. I for one don't like ruckus, it's too hard to spell. But the way this perp was acting without any focus or subtlety, well, it just went and gave him away. Haha, <laughs> hookers, please grab your knees, cause I'm gonna make you reach for the sky! Avarice, a horny dog looking to get his jollies deep in some courtesan brine. Makes me sick just reciting the phrase that floats around these mean streets, it's definitely not mine. That rhymed. Playing it cool in this crowd, I could feel something, a familiar smell like a stink fettered to a moving object. And that's when it hit me. The Sentinels had expanded their turf and they knew I was here. And something tells me they're not alone this time around. And just like that, I figured it out. Good day to you, sir. Can I interest you in a- Hey! Oh! Fair lady down. Courtesan dames are easy to pay off, sure, but an everyday girl like that, playing a field like this. Standards ain't what they used to be. People had seen things, whispers started to get around, and intuition told me to play it cool. That and I could see another disguised knight scudding my way to avenge his fallen comrade that I dirt-napped prior. But he's aimless, so I got some time before he gets here. I had to be sure it wasn't all of these avenging honeys that were after me, so I made a mark. Go away! A question answered, sure, but that made things a lot tougher. My game has got to be on top of the ladder, nary a loss to keep myself alive. But the whispers went on. The knight had paid off the renegade to double on me and take me down, so I had to play dealer. I wanted to keep the sentinel out of the way, so I dipped our heels in some brown puff to get behind the knight unnoticed and cuff him some backplate Nora to throw him off. <laughs> but his renegade power wasn't far behind, the chump giving some spunk as I introduced Lady Blade to father right man tit. This was too loud. Everyone wanted to see what was happening, so I made Skippy and sat this inning out. Word came about there was an informant, a holy man aching for his cut of the share for whatever flawed word of God he'd preached this week. And if that's the heaven we're going to, I'd rather send him there first. Not too far away, his personal guardian was waiting for the money deal to go down, but nary a machination that I'd be there to deal first. Oh, hello there. Oh, oh my face. <coughs> Sneaky suckers planting their traps to keep me here. My mind switched stick. This guardian was a patsy to lure and trap me. But where were they? Nowhere in my peeps, so that gave mine to blend in with the crowd and talk falsehoods till the attacker was known. And like that, my mind split again. Another fair one playing stabby stab with what seems to be a guild of night idiots. She's on the prowl, so I need her off my back. Hey! Oh my god! Nice, Count. Nice. Clean. Unnoticed. None the wiser. Things were in a lull. The quiet before the storm sure to drench me anytime soon. Playing the local, I caught the new show of the Jester on the roof. The knights obviously trying out some new guises to throw me off the walk. Not to mention clowns kind of make people uncomfortable. Or the idiot sprinting chicken to track me down. I don't like steep climbs. Gives me away and hurts my cuticles and tips. Manicures are kind of my thing in this town. Halfway up, the Guardian was on a rampage, feeding the clowns some Nora and leaving me with nothing but a kick in the face. The roof space was jammed. Any minute the act would get hectic when the Sentinel would head my way looking to bring me down. This was becoming a circus act. But why? Had I brought this on myself? Was this town really as depraved as it looked? And what was that crossfade meant to mean? Turning this corner, this renegade looked far too directed to be anything but, so Crackdown was prime cut in this choice. Oh! No, 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 no! They always beg, like it's meant to change anything. Perhaps a chance should be given once in a while. But the rules of the game say, fuck that. So many deaths in this area meant regress. Take solace in the empty part of town with this clown that seems to be AFK from reality and the ladies conversing with their usual trivial article. What? Oh! A sedative, a warning, amiable one at that to keep my distance. Perhaps she wasn't one of her brethren, on her own holy crusade and was playing fair and keeping me stunted. Who cares, that stung like a bitch. I ain't one to back down, and if anything this crowd was going to keep me moving as I had time to think about the play at hand. This PlayStation where I can square the perps down and circle my pursuers to keep them off my back. Oh, my face! A control scheme I like. There she was, keeping more incompetence off my rear as I tried to figure out why I could make that same smell but no sentinel trace. Then it hit me. Well, more specifically her. Wally's Antioch Disguise Warehouse. Halloween outfits more convincing than LeBron James trying to act. The same outfit joint that I got my outfit from. The Sentinel was too busy socking his whore for her lack of performance skills in the sack and unlucky for the dope in front of me, he'd taken out a decoy I'd left behind. Luck was on my side for the moment and I made business to scud out there like I was running after a chicken after not eating for a week. This clown was still standing here looking all jester-like with that creepy smile. He caught on my focus and I can't be distracted so I did what was best. But even this end of town was heating up. A fair one cracking skulls and the sentinel still stabbing horse. This wasn't my game, but for one I- OW! Oh. oh! That guardian was sure in a mood, and I was in a line of fire. And after two socks I let one slide. 
But damn it to the depths if I let this knight get a piece. None of them have so far, so why indulge the start of a trend? <laughs> I had to disappear, so low was the way to go. I passed by Wally's Antioch Disguise Warehouse to keep myself out of the way for the next few hours until I caught the trapeze act of the Renegade once again paid off by the Knight Guild to have his hand at squeezing a shot off at me. So right now is about the time the veneer was made clear. <laughs> the night was a long one, and while the dopes ran about getting their final kills, I let mine slide as the sun was about to come up in three, two, one. <laughs> The perps had all crawled back into their holes, and while I came out being on top, my mind strayed to the fair dame. But if anything, this town has a lot of filthy corners, a lot of bent corners on the page, and I knew, as always, that I'd see her again. Soon.